Here the question is: Given the following sample of pseudocode, what is the minimum number of test cases required to guarantee 100% decision coverage? And then these options are provided. Now let's analyze the pseudocode and draw a flowchart to get the correct answer. The first line is input exam score. This is a statement, so we can represent it like this. Line two is if exam score is less than equal to seventy-five. This is a condition, so we can represent it like this. If this condition becomes true, line number three. Print candidate has failed will execute. Since it is a statement, we can draw it like this. The fourth and fifth line is, else print candidate has passed. These two lines will execute if the condition on line number two fails. Since line number five is a statement, we can represent it like this. Now let's analyze line number six. Which is if exam score greater than equal to 120. It is a condition, but the question is where to place this condition on the flowchart. To answer this, you have to look into condition on line number two. This condition is not yet ended, so we have to place this condition inside the else condition itself. This is how we have to place it in flowchart. Line number seven is, print candidate has achieved a distinction. It is a statement, so we can place it like this. Line number eight and nine are end if. That means both the condition ends here, and this is how we can close the flowchart. With this, the flowchart is ready. Now let's use it to solve the question. In the question. We have to find the minimum number of test cases required to guarantee 100% decision coverage. That means we have to cover all the decisions. With these three test cases, we can cover all the decisions. Therefore, option C, three, is the answer.